peace in Islam. Um, today we're gonna be quick. We're gonna talk about Noble Charlie. In nineteen twenties, he dressed like this, right? You see that sash going across him. Let's see how he had no a lot of these ancient ways. That band across his waist. Let's see that crown, the sun god, Ra, the western sun symbol. We also got the feathers that represent uh, Moroccan nobility. Nobility in Morocco. Um, and that's what we see with the fez. We see with the robe. But pay attention to this red band. I assume it's red. That's a very Moorish. We're going to show you in a second. Last video we see Jesuit Antonio Vieira covered in two Moors from Brazil. Already showing Moors in America. From the understanding of the people who captured us. <laughs> but this uh, converting of Moors is going to be the reason why they become other things in our historical timeline like Black Snake Rose, Indian, Ethiopians. So, but we see as a Moorish American, this American Moor, who we see that same band, as we see right there. And again, we see the parrot and the corn all representing me, America, and the abundance of America. That's what I represent. That's the ancient Canaanite. As we can see, we still know the empire of Egypt with that crown. But we can see the sash going in cross and the al -Mazir. You can see. The red band. And this one. Brazil, the whole Morocco. You see the turban with the feathers from Moroccans. Another one. to the side of his face. I see the red band. It usually have a sword in it. That's a gentle homie. Gentil homie. Gentleman. Okanania. See, he ain't got the feathers, but he got the crown the turban with the thing in the middle. a little different but he got her son represented on his son but we would consider this a European based off the dress but this is Brazil Moorish American you see his head real white and woolly OG no 
now we see where they get them wigs for. <laughs> we see he has a top hat, but he still got the fed that represent nobility in Morocco. And he also got the red pen on his wig. Gustav Badin. Gustav Badin. Come on more. Probably the real term they were being called. <laughs> but they say court servant. Swedish court servant and divers. Uh, originally a slave. The reason why they put that because in Rome, Moors only can be slaves and African slaves. And the history books of Rome. You had your own Wikipedia and you did your own research, you could write his whole story out saying that, but they're going to always put that against Moors before a certain time period in the record books. And they say he was a foster son and servant of a queen and servant of his foster sister, princess. His original name was Kushi, which is again Kush, Kushi. Kushite or cool school. Um, and they say even another trickster, mischief maker. So basically, they butcher the story. But right here we see Louisa Eureka Bardeen was given three farmhouses outside of Stockholm by the Swedish king. So he rich and wealthy which gave him an income and some for national security. He was given several honorary titles, so he ain't that much of a slave, right? As Chamberlain, court secretary, ballot master, and assessor. So that's so much for being just a servant and a trickster, right? A judge or magistrate's assistance. Um, despite having an honorary title assessor, which gave him the right to relief, um, as an official, he refused and replied to the king, have you ever seen a black assessor? <laughs> um, right here, this is where it gets interesting.
by then was not only Af the only African brought, you see, in Rome. These stories you always got to come from Africa, no matter if you've been there <laughs> or not. The mental state is that story that they connect you to during the 18th century, Balakwese, and the churches of Stockholm, other Morians. So now these people are going back and they read these stories and they're looking for the people who call them Morians and they're rewriting these stories to try to make the people slaves and black people. See how they say it, which was a name for black people. Now you know their true name and you ain't capitalize them, so you're playing games. You know their true name, but you will continue saying just a name for black people as if that's the true name. And this just for some people call them, you no, know, just their name and their history. And this history, but this name showing up, they ain't being slaves. They up their assessors and stuff like that. The true story. Once they switch it in Rome, that's they get it from their perspective. You see, we're baptized. So that's when you get baptized as a more you become a black person, a Roman, a black Roman, African Roman. You can't be a more within that jurisdiction. Once you baptize, you can't be who you've been. Morians. So you got more people. Johannes in seventy fifty seven. Adolf Ulrich in seventy fifty nine. And these when these that's when these moors getting baptized and becoming a new person. You see, also so called court servant we can see how he look. These court servants right here more glamorous than the kings and the queens. And they're the ones who we got the photos of. We don't got the photos of half of these people they saying he even a servant of. The servant get the photo, okay. He got Fool King from Stockholm in the Royal Chapel. Daph Daphne, which is a princess name, like princess in French. And that's why the time and they reconstruct and everything. The most beautiful Maori in Sweden had ever seen. A black teenager of the Duke who involved in a love affair at court. Also, non black converts are recorded, such as Pluto from India, who probably been still dark skinned but being converted because they are with Morris. And he write this, he write in books and stuff. And this is some more pearls, crown, feathers, Moroccan. And he been a Saudi. Habshi. Of Bengali. And you see, all them stories got a get that even if it's true or not they're gonna make sure they get that and we don't really know about these people are always dressed in glamorous and that's all i want to show we will get into this we will continue this in the next video we got tons of these information that we gotta research and write ourselves